All right, what's up, you guys? This is gonna be the first start of the video of the 4640. So we're gonna see what we can do. What's up, you guys? This is gonna be the first video of the 46. So right now, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna start first um, before we put these thermostats in. So this in. is gonna be a different situation going on. So since it's already late on during the day, so this is gonna be a two-part man, maybe a three-part video on this so right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank this up and I'm gonna carry it to that water hydrant. I'm gonna fill it up, fill the radiator up and let it sit there and idle and let me watch the temperature hand so and see what that does before i put these thermostats in so i'm gonna bring y'all along i'm gonna let y'all watch it and i'm gonna let y'all look at it so yeah, let's get it let's see what's in it uh, ain't a drop in there well, probably what that is that's low on water i don't know uh, you never, never know, know. So i'm just gonna put some water in it and i'm gonna try that before i go starting on this try it uh. Second. Meanwhile, all right, take two. I had to get her a little priming. Come on, baby. I need you. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go over here to the water hat. I'm gonna check the 86 and see if 
that needs some water because that's getting ready to go to John Deere this week. Probably tomorrow if I have time. Right now, I'm trying to find a ride to get back because I really want to drop the 86 off tomorrow if I can find a ride to get back. So, I mean, so right now, so like I was saying, yeah, Damien was on the tractor drilling soybeans, and so it ran hot on him, but I I don't know how long the temperature hand got to rising, so I, I don't know. But of course, of what I'm looking at right now, I know it's not the water pump, uh, so now it's running like this, so I know it's not the head gasket, so that's not what that is. Now, if it's a thermostat sticking, this should take probably about 10, maybe 15 minutes for, it, for the temperature hand to come up. But as of right now, I don't know. Well, since I already got the thermostat, I'm gonna go and put them in there anyway. Since I ain't never put a thermostat, since I ain't never put a thermostat in here, so I'm just gonna go and put it in there anyway. So, uh, so let me move yeah. this tractor over there, line it up with the 81, and uh, let it sit there run. And I'm gonna crank the 86 and bring it over here. I know it's probably gonna need some water, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some in. Uh, I know you ain't supposed to put straight water in, but you know how it is. Fluid's gonna get changed anyway, so it don't really don't make me no difference. All right, now I'm gonna move to here next to the, the, 80, the 81. I finally got that crane. I had to jump it off for some odd reason, but anyway, either way it go, let me shut this door. But anyway, yeah, I finally got the 46 right here about oh. sitting by the 81. Uh, I hooked the bush hog up, hooked the 81 up to the bush hog. So, uh, I finally got it cranked. I had to jump it off, and I, I don't, as soon as I jumped it off, it just hit. So, I don't know why I didn't want to hit on its own. So, I'm still seeing some codes on the, on the monitor, on the, on the, uh, display. So, I don't, I don't know what that is. It's going to the shop anyway, so. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna time this and see what it is and see if it's doing great. If it's doing all right, then I think we just solved our problem. That's what it is. It was just low on water. They didn't have no water. In. So y'all saw how long that water hose stayed in that radiator. So that's yeah, that was pretty low. Oh my god. But that's okay. We live. We learn. Accidents happen. Everything fine. That's okay. I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only farmer around here that go through something like this, so it's okay. So right now, we're just gonna sit here and time this. So y'all already saw, it, saw the hand before, so now we're gonna get it. All right, that's the temperature hand right there. So we're gonna time it, it is 6.06 p.m. So now it's 6.06, now we see where it's at, and while I'm letting it run it, now we see where it's at, while I'm letting it run it. So now I'm gonna get on the 86, and I'm gonna send it over there. I don't think it needs some water. I, it might do, I don't know. It, it's, it's, it's work, it's work. Yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna check up. I'm just gonna check the right. Come on. 86, the reason why this is going to John Deere, I'm gonna repeat it. I know y'all know the last time, so I explained it, what, what I need to do to it. Uh, for one, the power lift right here. The power lift won't come up with the lever up in there. So what that is, it's not broke. It's just that little clip that holds the cable together. That's broke. So uh, if I can, you know what? I ain't even gonna show y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, I know what the motor oil looks like. Cause I checked that the other day, but I did not check the water on this thing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at it. I do need some tires. Y'all know any great deals about these tires that I can get? Well, if y'all had some laying around, I do need some new tires on it. All right, let's get up here. All right, let's see what she got. Oh, she got some. Oh, she got some in it. Oh, I ain't got the food with her. I am going to crank it up and let it run. I ain't heard my baby Pearl in a while, so. Uh, look at that. I got all this farm equipment. I ain't just really doing nothing with it.
Woo! Man! Alright. Come on, baby. Let me get that. Cold start. Take one. show y'all again what I need fixing on here. It's leaking right there. Right up in there. It's got a little seal right there. That's where my leak coming from. Right there. Right off in there. You see it's dropping down right here all on my cylinders. Well, I'm getting that fixed. And I'm also getting this fixed. Uh, that lever I was telling you about. There's nothing wrong with the transmission or the power lift or whatever. It's just that cable right here. Right back here. That needs a clip on it. So, uh, now I got the, like I said, 4640 is running, 86 is running. I already ran nothing for a while, so it probably won't crank back. So, I don't know what the, what the issue with this, this 81. So, I, I don't know. So anyway, on this right here, let's just say hypothetically, that's what that is. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and change the thermostat in it anyway. That way I can take the belt off and just shake that uh, water pump Make sure there ain't no flopping in there because I don't want no water pump going through no radiator. I have, I have had that done years ago when I was young. I was on a 4840 and I was distant with a 25, 25 foot disc. And I didn't know what was going on because I was young. So I was going through the field. Matter of fact, it was behind the water tank. I was going through the field and I was by myself. I think I was about five or six years old. And Daddy, he was coming in with the planter, and my brother, he was on the do all. And uh, matter of fact, it was this tractor. It was, it was my dad's tractor right here. It was this tractor right there. Damon was on the do all. I was distant. And Daddy was somewhere. I can't remember what Daddy was. I don't know if he was around here or back here or whatever, planting or whatever. But anyway, he came back there. So now it was me, Damon, and my, and my father. We was all back there. And what happened was the fan came off and just went through the radiator. And I didn't know what, what it was, so back then there wasn't no cell phone. So uh, my, father came, my father came over there and said, why are you sitting still? I was like, well, it's just quit. And uh, I was too young to even do anything. So, I mean, that's a... That's a that's a funny, funny thing. So we looked at, we both looked at the radiator. It just so happened to look at it, and then the fan was like clean, went clean through the radiator. So we ended up having to get another radiator, and then come to find out the water pump was broke, was was messed up. So it didn't run hot. It didn't do none of that. It just, I guess, the fan just came off. It just, just went straight through the radiator. So we play, end up replacing the water pump and then we replace the fan and uh, uh, water pump and then we replace the radiator. Not the fan, I'm sorry. This right so, here is doing excellent. Finally got it going, everything is good on Now, since we already done did this, we know that's running right. 
Now we need to deal with these three. And after we're done with them three, oh yeah, I cleaned the service truck up just a little bit. So there we have it. Just to let y'all know, just to let y'all see it. All right, let's get back in the tractor and let's see what's going on. Let me cut this 86 off. I know ain't nothing wrong with it. seen the blog been running about every bit of 10 minutes so I could at least see some type of results so I'm gonna say I gotta put some diesel in here I'm running out so there we have it what you see right there that's where it always be at when it's pulling something heavy this tractor right here never runs hot I, this is the first time I've seen this tractor run hot I'm like literally run hot so I'm just gonna say that that's what it is. It ain't got no water in it, but I'm still gonna put these thermostats in it. So that way I know what we got, everything good, so I ain't, ain't no need worrying about it. So alrighty, so let's get at it. This is gonna be another video. Uh, like I said, this is gonna be a part one, part two, part three video or whatever. So. All right, we're gonna move this video to another day. I'm not gonna do anything right now, but we're gonna move it to another day. And 